Good morning, everybody. Get some milk on that Captain Crunch and pull on up to the screen here. Let's have a look at this. This is going to be a good video. This is going to be our DIY tool cart tool up. The other two parts were the building of this little green car here from U.S. General and Harbor Freight and a tool haul from Harbor Freight. We're going to talk about all of that. If you want to see those videos, I will try to put a card up here in the top link to the playlist and there will be links and information in the comments below. So always go and check those out. Now, if you don't mind, please click that like button real quick, even a dislike, whatever you <laughs> leave a comment, share these videos. I really appreciate it. That's why there's only one commercial in my video and not more because I depend on you guys to help support this whole thing. And this whole project was, well, if it wasn't for viewers like you and specifically Michael, thank you very much for making this a great project that we could do. I really appreciate you and all of my viewers. Thank you all very much. Now, let's get on with it. So this is a DIYers tool car. You can see all of our tools sitting here. And we're just gonna tool it up for, you know, kind of a quick video here or attempt at it anyway. So my good friend Clayton Scheiber stopped by, who is a truck driver, and he comes through Phoenix once in a while, and we meet up, and I brought him over here, and we had some, some dinner, and we talked about these things, and we really brought this down to two things that are the biggest decisions that you have to make when you're doing a DIYers tool cart. Number one and biggest, what are you going to be doing? What kind of DIYer are you? Because if you're kind of the outdoorsy, fixing small engines, working on the car, fencing projects like that, your car is going to look different than the person that is doing inside things like putting together Ikea furniture or building pallet stuff or whatever. So that's number one. Number two is gonna be dollar signs, the almighty dollar. How much is it gonna cost you? You know, there's, there's this, this end where you have all the money in the world and you can get every tool you want and, and go out and, and just really tool it up right. And then the other end is on a budget, which is kind of what mine is towards because I had a couple of Harbor Freight gift cards, so most of this stuff came from Harbor Freight. And FYI, it's a little over 200 bucks worth of stuff, and that's including the car. Now, somewhere in the middle of those two is a person that will will start off with similar budget stuff and then build up. So if there's a good sale on that thing, go out and get that really nice thing that you wanted. Now, noticeably missing from this are power tools because that might be a matter of taste. Some people will go, you know, I'll get a Makita this, I'll get a Milwaukee that, and a Ryobi that. So other people will say, no, I'm I'm in the brand and those batteries, and I'm gonna stay with that that brand. So it's very much a matter of taste, so none of that is in here. Now, that all being said, let's get on with tooling up this tool cart. Now, this tool cart is a DIY cart that I'm putting together for my daughter, who is really doing a lot of her own home projects now. <laughs> She's almost done with most of them, so hope she can still find some stuff to do by the time we get that over there later this week. But this is the cart I picked, and it's a U.S. General uh, one drawer cart, there's there's a single drawer on here. It is 16 inches deep. Most of their other carts are 18 inches or deeper. So why did I pick this cart? Two reasons. Number one, it's got the swivel casters on it. So it's very maneuverable and it's very narrow here. It's not real wide. So it's going to be easy to get through the door and maneuver around through the house. And that's where I expect that my daughter is going to use this car. So that is number one, get a cart that's going to be appropriate to, to your needs. These smaller casters may not roll well in gravel and dirt. And so you might get something that's going to, you're going to park in the garage all the time and it won't matter. Now, I started off with this tool kit, got it for 30% off US, uh, US General Tool Kit when they have all, uh, several US General Tool Kits on sale. This one has several part numbers, SKU numbers from Harbor Freight, so it wasn't on the coupon. 
So they had to do an override for me, and, and I think they kind of resented it, but it's like, that's your mess up. Your point of sale system should have had everyone, even if the coupon didn't have this SKU number on it, it's still the same product. All the SKU numbers should have been counted when, when you sold it. So, you know, get mad at me if you want part of free, but that's kind of your bad there. Now, why did I get this tool kit? Well, uh, there were a couple of reasons why I got this toolkit, and you'll see the main one in a minute. I got this toolkit because it it was uh, very budget friendly, and the other reason is that this is a Pittsburgh tool set, so all the tools in here, come what may, are guaranteed for life. I really liked that. Now, the other thing is that I could get bang for your buck, a, a lot of general purpose tools at one time. And the final reason is check this out. All these drawers are molded. They've got handles on them to carry from job to job. Plus, they're going to keep this tool cart very organized because they've got these nice molded. This is where it goes back at. I got these because I thought they could just sit in the drawer here somehow. Will they go this way? No, they will not. So, I'm going to have to somehow figure that out because I may only get one in there. That kind of sucks. So, let's start with what's in there, okay? What a tool cart's got to have. And and there's this is a matter of opinion. You know, adjustable wrenches, I don't know that adjustable wrenches are important. But what is important are a pair of slip joint pliers which I am not seeing in here. They may be somewhere else, but we do have these kind of groove joint pliers. A pair of needle nose is really important. And then a pair of wire cutting pliers as well. So definitely those, these aren't gonna be the great pliers, but they're gonna work for what she needs to do. But this is one that should be a big investment for you, you know, that if, if you're going to spend money on something, spend money on pliers, on screwdrivers, okay? If you're a mechanic, you're going to have more sockets and tools that are automotively geared in your tool set. So that's where you're going to spend your money. She's not going to use that much, so this little starter set thing here is going to work just fine for what she's doing. And then, or right? Got a little few uh, screwdrivers here. And we still got some precision screwdrivers for working on glasses and stuff. And even a little tester in there. And the last drawer is, <laughs> is gonna fall out of there, oh no. We'll get those all organized and, and back in place. But, you know, just a smattering of some wrenches. And we got a pair of vice grip type locking pliers and a utility knife. These are all things that somehow you should have in there. This is going to be the good starter thing, but it's not everything. First of all, I didn't like the little utility knife there. So we are going to include this Doyle kind of version of, they're comparing it to the Milwaukee, and a good utility knife, I think, is very important. So we definitely have that, right? So that's going in the cart. A pair of scissors. Well, these are like 63 cents, okay? So why wouldn't you have a pair of scissors? Because not having a pair of scissors in your do-it-yourselfers cart is going to be exactly why you can't find scissors in the, the scissor drawer of the house, you know, where you put your scissors in the house. So if you have one out here on your cart and you don't lose it, chances are you'll keep one inside the house. Next thing, you got to have a good hammer. Now, I wanted to put a wooden handle 16... I think it's a 16 ounce hammer. Now, you can go with a 12 if, if you have someone more petite, and my daughter is very petite, but she can handle a 16 ounce hammer, so 
I got this 16 ounce hammer at Harbor Freight. Like I said, I looked for a wooden one because I thought that would feel more organic, you know, to a person like my daughter is. But those are really not manufactured as well as they used to be. So I decided against a wooden handle for the hammer. You've got to have a measuring tape. This is a 25 foot one, and you'll probably remember these ones that Harbor Freight was giving away for a while. And even though they're not giving them away anymore, they're still very cost effective for putting on a tool cart. You almost always need a, no matter what you're doing, you're going to need to measure at some point. And this one is going to do very good. And again, you know, these are things, it's, it's not coated, you know, the coating is going to come off the, the markings and everything e eventually with, with any kind of use. So this is another thing you're going to want to spend a little bit of money on maybe later. 25 foot one is fine, make sure it has a coating on it so that the paint markings are not going to wear off on it. What else do we got? Well, why do you have a square? Well, marking. This is not a good square. This is just something to get started with. I would get an aluminum one. There is a good sale on these. Uh, Milwaukee has a double set. Doyle just came out with some. But Milwaukee has a double set. I think it's aluminum. Very nice, nice square. But if you're going to square up and cut a 2x4 or just making marks, you really need to have something to line that up with. Which brings us to another thing. You know, always have some sort of pencil. And I don't have one in there, but I wanted to show you this one. Let me see if this will... This pencil here. Now, why do I like these pencils? First of all, they're easy to sharpen with a utility knife, which you usually have in your toolbox, okay? Here's the other thing. This dimension here, thickness, it's a quarter inch. This dimension here, width, that's a half inch. So if you're just trying to get close to a quarter inch or a half an inch, you, you needn't have anything more than just a DIYer contractor's pencil, okay? So, got to have a pencil for marking and doing that sort of thing. I don't have it on here, but that's the kind of pencil I would recommend. And why should you listen to me? <laughs> now, putting together that IKEA furniture or whatever, you know, taking things apart, or what, you're going to want a magnetic tray. Not just a Tupperware bowl. A magnetic tray that will maybe, if you accidentally dump it when you bang a part against it or something, may not lose everything for you. So these are, don't pay attention to the, uh, the Christmas sale, Black Friday sale at Harbor Freight. Because there is a coupon out there almost always for at about 99 cents on these. So look for the 4 inch Pittsburgh tray for 99 cents. What else do we got? Next thing in your DIY cart, you're going to want to have a level, right? Why wouldn't you need a level? And this one was, you know, again, these things will show up on the, you know, 30% off sale, right? So you could get it for 30% off because it's under 10 bucks. And they put this, you know, sticker stuff on here to just about ruin the whole thing so you know I'm gonna have to take a heat gun to that and get it all off of there but this is the box version of the level instead of the I-beam version and I think this is gonna be stay more stable and it's easier to hold if you're working by yourself trying to hold it up than say a regular I-beam level and I think it's it's its base is gonna have a better chance of standing up on your work all by itself. Now, getting down to the nitty gritty of it, aren't we? I grabbed some of these Grant's towels and you can get them pretty reasonably priced under a buck. So, you know, you need to, to keep your tools clean. Okay, let's talk about working with electricity. Okay, you have got to have a contactless voltage tester. 
Okay, we've got our U.S. General Power Strip. Push our button and hold it down. And we're going to get a tone and a light. And we got an outlet tester as well for working on electricity. So we're going to plug this in. And it's going to tell us if we're wired correctly or if we're not based on the lights. And what I really like about these is that the pattern of the lights is always printed on the tester itself. And you've got a, a, a uh, circuit breaker tester. Ooh, did you hear that? Trip that circuit breaker right now. So hopefully we don't have anything else electrical to test on that. What else we got? Well, I did not think that this thing was going to come with a very good set of ratchet wrenches. So I picked up this quarter inch drive Pittsburgh Pro Ratchet. It's the quality of ratchet really that a DIYer should have, even if they're not using their sockets and wrenches that much. But this one here, it's a quarter inch drive, so it's like 11 bucks. And with the $5 off any Pittsburgh Pro Ratchet, it never expires coupon, it's gonna be about $6. It, it just something that makes sense. One more little toolkit here that I got, and obviously this is not from Harbor Freight here. This is going to be a cobalt set. I have this set myself. It's got a good warranty on it. I don't know if they still have the lifetime warranty on it, but it was my first one that I had it was written right on the box. You can take it in, no questions asked. It said right on the box. I don't know how they warranty this now. I'm assuming it's it's going to be similar. But imagine that you're putting together something like that uh, uh, Kia furniture, that, you know, pack flat furniture. You've got all kinds of bits here. You've got a driver. And the best part is that this is a 90 degree angle driver. So this bit driver here, you can get in tighter places than you can a regular screwdriver. So it comes in really handy. And I'll tell you what, these bits and tools in here are a lot tougher than you would think. It's a great tool. Now these are on sale at their Black Friday going on now at Lowe's for like 15 bucks. It's normally a $20 set all year long, but now you can go in and get it for 15 bucks for their Black Friday thing. I use this thing all the time. It's like my go-to thing. I wouldn't imagine my daughter not being able to use that. And then trying to get that little toolkit open, it reminded me, you've got to have a good set of these little picks. And this is not a great set, but I'll tell you what, for the 99 cents, and I don't think you can get them for that anymore, You might, they, we might see more coupons on them, but this little pick set that you get from Harbor Freight, it's probably as good of a tool, as popular of a tool, I think, as maybe the five drawer cart, because it's just so inexpensive. It comes in its own little organizational tray. You know, you could, this packaging, you can put it all back together and keep it organized and handy, and you use it all the time. And you don't have to worry about breaking it because it's it's a buck, you know, go, go get another one. A little over a box, but I'm, it's not a dollar. Okay, I know that. It's not exactly a dollar. Now, a couple of accessories for the outside, okay? Keep paper towels handy, and I'm not talking about these white paper towels. Get you the good blue shop towels. Keep them handy. This is the magnetic paper towel holder in the green for this tool cart. And then you want to, if you want to have power handy, the U.S. General, you just can't beat it. Now, they don't have the U.S. General Power Strip in green, but this matte black is really nice. It's not gloss black like the toolboxes. It's this nice matte that will go with the green, the orange, the yellow, all the ones that you cannot get the color version of your toolbox, whatever it is. So it's got a really long cord on it. It's It's got a breaker in it. So it's going to be a great tool to work with. And it's got a cord wrap on it. So just about anywhere your cart is at, you could magnetically attach this thing to the side of it, roll your cord up when you're working, pull the cord down, 
plug it into the wall and you've got power at your cart. So that is another great tool. And of course, you really need some good source of light and these I didn't have to pay for. I made a couple of different trips to get all these tools. So I got a couple of flashlights to throw in there and these have the magnet, they have a little hook on them. They have, you know, two different ways to light. So they just work really great and you can still get them for free with any purchase from Harbor Freight. And let's not forget the most important tool in the box. When you've had a hard day and you're done working, you gotta have, you gotta have your Harbor Freight 5 8 inch wrench and bottle opener so that you can get yourself, open yourself up a cool one. Now, what is not on the cart real quick that I wanted to get on here that I just ran out of time, ran out of money, whatever. Okay. I wanted to put some sort of bumper on here and what I was thinking about, let me know what you guys think, but what I was thinking about is instead of putting expensive cart bumpers on it, was just maybe ordering some black pool noodles from Amazon or something and, you know, using some sort of uh, um, strap or something, you know, Velcro to, to hold them on to protect your furniture or whatever in the, in the house. The other thing is, you know, the little tilt-out tray bins from Harbor Freight that you can get. I was going to get three of those, and, and they lock together, so maybe attach them to a piece of wood or something. Four of them, even though it's 16 inches, doesn't quite fit in here on the width of this, so it would have to be three, and I was going to maybe attach them to a board or something that you could put a... Uh, with the extra space where the fourth one wouldn't fit, maybe drill a hole in there, you know, and have a cup holder, right? Because you gotta have a cup holder on your cart. So that was the other thing. And I am probably missing some, you know, I wanted to tool it up with a few little pieces, like maybe some uh, some drywall screws of different sizes, a handful of minibin, a bin, and some of those uh, uh, really good wall anchors, not the little split apart ones, but the ones that are actually, you know, the little tornadoes that, that go in and then you put a screw into them and they expand just a little bit, but those grab and hold very well. So just different things like that, but I'm sure she'll find all kinds of stuff to add to her cart. Now, I'm gonna go away. I'll be right back with one more quick view of the cart all tooled up. And there we have it, everyone. All tooled up and ready to go. Obviously be some change. It's kind of disappointing that we couldn't get more of these trays inside the drawer here because <laughs> the drawer is not deep enough to put them that way. But I can imagine that they can go under here just fine. So if you're in a situation where you're going to want to secure everything, this is probably, this is not the cart you're looking for. So <laughs> it's not going to work really well. But let's take a quick look. You, you still got storage space down here. Now, my preference is that I'd want to keep this space available up here to be able to work in. But you can see we got a couple of tools up here. We've got quite a bit will fit in this drawer. Now, yeah, it's kind of piled up or whatever, but, you know, you can organize it. Having some of these tools already organized is going to help a lot, a whole lot. So, you know, in these little blow molded bins, get a little space space that'll fit in there for your quarter inch magnetic stuff is cool because it sticks right to it right you're gonna have some paper towels and then last but not least you're gonna have some power right with your cart well that's just about gonna wrap it up for our DIYers tool cart project now if you think I left something out please let me know in the comments below or send me your DIY cart to this email here blindguycan at gmail.com and we'll see if we can get it in on one of our videos now for you that are coming up on your weekend everybody stay healthy take care and make it a good one everybody